Hello, I've had so many requests for information and do you know what? You guys are making my life so much easier because if you tell me what you want, then I can deliver. This latest request has come from a girl in Chile and she would like to know, and I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but she would like to know how to make ribbon roses. Now you might be thinking, what is a ribbon rose and why would I need to make a ribbon rose? Once you've mastered this, you will just love the things that you could do. Right, I'm using satin ribbon and what you need to do is to start off and roll this up into like a little cigar shape. So just keep rolling that and then as it unravels just push it back a bit so that you've got this lovely, lovely, lovely little tight ball or cigar shape there. That is the beginning of the bud or the rose that you're going to form. Then what you need to do is to take your, hold it in one hand and then use your thumb and roll that ribbon over the back of your hand and keep going until it gets to that stage. Then when you get to there, you do the same thing and you just keep rolling and twisting and rolling and twisting and rolling and twisting until you get it to the shape that you want. Now, once you get to there, the thing to do is to cut that off there, then get that little bit of ribbon there, push that back onto itself, then I would be using matching ribbon, but unfortunately uh, you won't see what I'm doing. So what we need to do now is with a knot in the end, get your needle and run your needle from one side to the other, and then back on itself like so, and then from there, just quietly go around and make sure that you catch, the, see that bit there? You need to catch that. So just pull that down in your hand, push that through to there, like so, and then give that a good pull. And then what I like to do is to just roll that around back on itself and then Get your ribbon, your needle and thread, and just run that through there. Now this is what I call this is the old-fashioned classic rose that they use have been making for generations and generations. Right, just cut, take that through there, tidy that off, give that a good pull, and then cut that. Now what I do with that bit there is I cut that bit off. Cut that off because you don't want that. And there you have your perfect, perfect, perfect little rose. Now that's one way. I'll show you one another way that we used to do these. And that is to get your ribbon and then you start off and you do it that way if you found that that was much easier. It just means that you're wasting a little bit of ribbon there. but And you, act, you do actually have a little bit more control because as you're twisting it around your finger, you can actually screw that bit really, really firmly. And then it's exactly the same way. So just rolling that round and you just, just know what a little rose looks like and you just keep rolling that around like so and if that pokes up just take it down a wee bit so just keep going and keep going keep going until that is done isn't that just so easy let me show you some of the things that I do with ribbon roses now these roses here I've made out of chiffon and just the plain one layer just the plain red this one here what I've done to just get some variation is to use the lavender with the lime green and that's a beautiful look as well I really like that this one here here is with the yellow and the pink which is a lovely look as well so there's a nice collection of beautiful roses now what are the great things you can do with this this here is just a lovely little wee flax bag that I had and what I've done is I've made lots and lots and lots and then I've just hand sewed those a bit roughly all over the outside of that bag isn't that just so cute just love it beautiful gifts to give to somebody the other thing I've done with these is I've put them out onto a cushion and covered a chair fabulous the other thing that you can do with them and this is what I really like because it becomes a fashion statement I've had this little top for ages and ages and ages I wasn't really wearing it because I'm just a little bit too old for just black around my face so I thought oh what can I do with it and goodness me what is that in there Hold on, what is that I'll get rid of that that so what I've done here is I've just made a whole heap because I've got lovely silver trousers and gold stripes that I wear this with but what I've done is I've just hand stitched those 
all around the neck. The other thing that you have to be careful of is if you're going to be wearing this is when the stretches out, will the roses go with you so leave a little bit of space and then use a mannequin so that when you do put it on you can make sure that you've got your nice spacings but isn't that just so quick and easy a lovely easy easy fashion piece or fashion statement just with a little bit of ribbon i love it i hope i've been of assistance i hope you give this a go it's been my pleasure and i will see you another day mm -hmm.